All right, first thing you want to do is go to Google. And I, for example, I typed in Eagle Tribal PNG. And in this case, I'm going to use this image provided it's a PNG. Right click, save image as to the desktop. And it says it is a PNG format. That's perfect. So I save that file. Once that's saved, I go to Converto, PNG to SVG Converter. I just upload it here. Now click Convert. Takes a few seconds. And then I click Download. Now that I've got this file downloaded, I'm just going to go to Show in Folder. And I'm going to move it to my desktop. 476 is what it starts with. And now I'm in my Blender scene. I'm going to press Numpad 1 for Front Orthographic View. File. Import. SVG as Grease Pencil. Click on that. Let's go to my desktop and we are going to look for that SVG. I need to clean up my, my desktop. It seems to be way too many files on it. Right, it will be this one over here. So I import it and just like that, let's select this quickly and just hide that for now. Here it is. And because it's in SVG format, we can actually turn this into 3D. So for example, if we did select this and we press tab to go into edit mode. All right, instead of going into edit mode, stay in object mode. So you can press tab, you select this, you press tab to go into edit mode, tab to be in object mode. And currently it's a grease pencil object. So if you want to convert this, to, for example, to a mesh or curve, you can. You could, for example, convert it to a, a path, which would be a curve. And we can hide the Jeep grease pencil and only see, now we're only looking at the curved shape. And the nice thing about curves is that you can easily convert this into a mesh. So once we select it, object, convert to mesh. And just like that, we've converted this to a mesh. Obviously it doesn't look like much now. And there's a lot of work I would have to do yet to make this look really good. So let me show you with a slightly more simple object, the, the core concept behind what I'm trying to show you. Numpad 7, File, Import, SVG Grease Pencil. Select your SVG file. In this case, I'm using the D Disney symbol. And for the sake of time, I'm only going to do the first letter. The same principle applies with everything else. So everything that is not closed off is fairly simple, but when something is closed off like this, that's when it becomes a little bit more complicated. So this is currently a grease pencil format. So we just click object, convert to path. And now we can hide the grease pencil format, click on the path. And this is technically a curve. Nice thing about a curve, it's very easy to convert to a mesh if you like. So we just click mesh. And now it's got the mesh symbol, which means we can press tab to go into edit mode. And I'm going to turn on X-ray for this. I'm going to turn on Edge Select. I'm going to hold in Shift and select all of this. Oh, that isn't turned on. X-ray must be turned on for accuracy. We'll do the same over here. Here we go. And then the rest is fairly easy because it's far away from the letter. We can now just press X, delete vertices. Then we can select this over here, press G, X, bring it all the way over here. And we are ready to begin. All right. So the first thing we want to do now that we are in edit mode, and this is a mesh, is we want to press Edge Select, press Shift and Alt, and just select these edges here. Hold on, Shift, Alt, there you go and then press F to fill. Once you've filled this, you can press, go to the side view like this, and this time press E, and just extrude it to give it some thickness. And once you've done that, we can now select this, and we can press F to fill, go to the side view, and press E to extrude as well. Press G, Y. Well, hold on, press. Shift, 
Shift Alt T, or Shift Alt and then click. Zoom in. There we go, I've got everything selected now. And with everything selected, I can just separate this by going right click, separate selection. Tab to go into object mode, and now I've got this other layer. This layer I'm gonna call my cutter. And I wanna cut this out of the main shape. So I'm gonna press G, Y, just bring it here. And it's sticking out on both sides. Numpad one. And all I need to do now is we simply cut it out. And we've obviously got our main layer over here and separately we've labeled this our cutter. So we'll select our main layer over here, go to our modifier properties, add modifier, and we're gonna use a Boolean modifier. And we're gonna use the cutter to cut a shape out. And we're gonna leave it on difference, so that would be correct. And for the sake of time, I'm just gonna do fast. Once I've done that, I'm gonna press apply. And once you've done that, you can just select your cutter, move it out the way, delete it, you don't need it, and there you have it. We've taken an image, and out of that image, we've made a 2D object. Now, if we bring back that cube we started off with, and we select this layer, this is where it could, a practical way where you might wanna use something like this, possibly. Just for added detail to, you know, flat surfaces that you might wanna give more character. Um, numpad three, GY, hold in shift, bring it in like that. And obviously you can take it even further. You can say, you know what? I wanna press tab, go into edit mode, press two, shift alt, select all these sides here. Shift alt, select all these sides as well. Do the same over, ooh. Let's try that again, shift alt, deselect everything, shift alt. Shift Alt, Shift Alt. I think that's pretty much everything. And you might say, you know what, let's bevel this, Control B. But uh, if you've got a potato computer, just uh, maybe don't do this. <laughs> I'm due for an upgrade. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to do this now, but you get the idea. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. And obviously, if you're new to Blender, you can obviously just paint this a different color if you, if you like. Perhaps we use an emission. Make it blue. Give it a strength of 30. View this in our render view. Change it. Turn on bloom. Give the back a material as well. Let's give the back a glossy material. Leave it on white, 1.5, and then give the environment a random texture. You can go to hdrhaven.com to download yourself a free HDR image. I'll just use a random one. First one I see. And to improve the reflections, you'll turn on screen space reflections, as well as refractions. You'll turn on ambient occlusion. Not that it does anything much to this scene. And uh, perhaps you'd want to mess with the cubes. Let's maybe make this zero just to see the difference. Zero roughness, 0 0.05, there you go. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.